It's been a pretty slow day to start out with. Uh, I wasn't feeling too hot last night. I kept waking up in the middle of the night, so I actually slept in a lot this morning. Cody was very nice and just kind of let me do my thing. Yeah, so this week I just, I've had, uh, Monday was just all headache. And uh, Tuesday, I was, yesterday I was tired, but I, I still got out of the house, which was good. Uh, and then today, I just didn't sleep last night. The biggest thing I've been putting off is going and getting the car registered, which I really need to do this month. I'm absolutely positively going to go tomorrow as long as I sleep all night. Because <laughs> um, if I sleep all night, then I'll actually get up in the morning and start moving and getting things done. But like today, I just came down and I crashed on the couch while watching uh, Bombi and Griffin. So... Eh, hopefully I'll, I'll get it done by the end of this week. That's the important thing. Uh, but that's really the only big thing I've been putting off. Um, I've been doing some of my own writing because I felt like writing again. And I've been trying to come up with a new topic for Bookworm Bibliophiles. Uh, not that anybody watches these vlogs, but if you have an idea, uh, let me know. I'm, I'm working on making a new end slate for the vlogs too, so it looks like my bookworm vlogs and you'll be able to link to the bookworm videos because I actually am really proud of those. I think they're turning out really well. Um, but otherwise, that's, that's kind of all that's been going on. Uh, just watching the pets and writing and uh, I'm gonna give the Parks and Rec department a call on Friday to see what's going on with the after school program job. Are you done, Bombi? Can I talk to the camera again? If you do this when I'm filming bookworms, you're going to be in big trouble. So it's been very interesting because one of the things that I've noticed, um, I've been doing just like stupid planning, if that makes sense. Like I really love planning and I love organizing and thinking about trips and you know we don't have to do it now obviously but just talking about things and planning them is is a lot of fun for me so I started looking at things hey guys they I can't tell if they're playing or really fighting but somebody is upset anyway so I just really love doing that kind of stuff it's a lot of fun for me so I was looking at what it would be like to go to Disney, cost-wise, um, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to put you in the kitchen. I've been looking at what it would be like to go to Florida, cost-wise, because I really want to go back to Disney World with Cody again at some point. And I've also been looking at the flights to Oregon for our friend's wedding. And probably the most frustrating thing is almost, if you're planning on flying out of Indianapolis, it's almost guaranteed that there's going to be a stop. So instead of a non-stop flight straight from X city to Y city, you have to go to uh, city Z in the middle. I mean, <laughs> and the only thing, like if it's a vacation, I don't mind. You know, whenever we decide to go to Florida, Again, that's not a big deal, whatever. Uh, but the problem would really be for the wedding, uh, cause, and, and like I said in le yesterday's vlog, a lot of this has to do with the fact that I'm looking at September and October 2015, and we won't be flying until 2016. But I'm just looking to get an idea. And getting there won't be the hard part. Which, so depending on when they need us to be there, we could either, we could even fly out on Friday morning and still get there early on Friday because, because of the time difference. The problem though comes when we're trying to get back to the central time zone. And we kind of hit a little bit of this when we were uh, going to Colorado for our honeymoon, but it wasn't this drastic it wasn't it wasn't this crazy um 
it was much easier to find a non-stop flight for a decent price. <laughs> and we may just have to go through like two different airlines um, to get the best flights, which whatever, that's fine. That's what Expedia is for. Uh, it's, it's just been crazy to look at because flights out of Portland, Oregon, because of course that's Pacific time, which I believe is three hours behind. I'm not sure, but it's more than Colorado was. And, you know, obviously it's a longer flight. So, like, the three options from me looking last night are that we either fly out at 7 in the morning and get back to Chicago at, like, 1 p.m. We would fly out of Portland at about 1 o'clock and get back at, like, 8 o'clock Chicago time. Or we would um, fly out from... Portland around 11 o'clock at night and get back at like 6 in the morning. So none of those are super great times obviously and that's kind of frustrating but those are like the cheapest ones. And I think I may have touched on this last night. We would probably go out of Chicago for a couple reasons. Um, one being that there are definitely non-stop flights. Um, it's roughly a hundred dollars cheaper um, and I think part of that is because of a one-stop versus non-stop. Uh, although their non-stops jump up, you know, the price jumps up too. Uh, but we can also leave, possibly, possibly leave Bombi with Cody's parents uh, while we go off for this, you know, about, it'd probably be about a four-day trip uh, out to Oregon. So... I'm glad we're looking at this now. <laughs> uh, this is probably gonna be an, ex this is definitely going to be an expensive trip and it's almost definitely gonna replace whatever first year anniversary trip we had planned, but it's worth it. It definitely is worth it. Um, and it's definitely gonna be more beneficial to fly at this point. Uh, since there are only two of us, uh, we are planning on going with another couple. Um, Ben and Elizabeth, we're going to try and all leave at the same time so we can share a rental car and a hotel um, or hotel pricing. <laughs> and so really and honestly, like the other stuff shouldn't be that expensive, especially because at least one of us should be over the minimum age before they start charging you. Uh, Cause that's a lot, that was what we ran into with the rental car situation in Colorado is um, I'm only 23 plus a bunch of insurance, plus it was a week long. So we would only be looking at maybe having a rental car for about four days. Um, hotel would be like three nights. Um, and if we're splitting all of that, we're probably not looking at it being super expensive. Uh, the flight is probably what's gonna be the hard thing. Uh, but like I said, we're planning on going with another couple, so it should, it should work out. Uh, we're, we're all excited to go. It's going to be a lot of fun, even though, you know, it's over a year away, but it's just, I feel, I feel more comfortable starting to look at what our options are. Um, but I, what I was saying before is it's going to be more beneficial for us to, I don't know if I said this, but it's going to be more beneficial for us to go to Chicago, uh, cause it's just cheaper. I mean, that's, we would, we're, we're, we would have to drive up to Valpo and then have someone drop us off, but in the long run, it would still be cheaper. Oh, driving. That's what I was talking about. Um, since, so flight-wise, Cody and I would take care of our flight and the other couple would take care of their flight, no splitting costs there. But then when we get to Colorado, we would split a rental car and a hotel. Um, the difference, obviously, is Cody and Ben were briefly talking about driving, and I'm like 100% no on that, um, because by next year, I should definitely have a full-time job, uh, especially if I'm looking into that teacher accreditation program. I will be working full-time as a teacher, um, and so, you know, that's a thing, <laughs> 
and you know Cody has a full-time job and so I don't know what my taking days off is gonna look like uh, whether I'm teaching or doing something else uh, but he kind of knows what his are gonna look like um, which is you know easy for him so we but we kind of have to play it by ear in regards to that the problem with driving is that driving could take uh, driving that far would be 33 hours and that's specifically from Indianapolis uh, I know Elizabeth would be coming down from Wisconsin and Ben is in Illinois so he Ben is technically the closest one and I think he's only maybe a maximum of three hours away from us so we're still looking at about a 30 hour drive and yeah like if we drove we would be splitting gas and everything um, and so it might come out to roughly the same, especially if we were to use not my car because my car has really bad gas mileage, um, which it's great. It's like a tank, but but it's not really good with uh, gas mileage. So, um, but it, it, I just think it would be too much time because I think at a minimum you're looking at about two days of driving because uh, it is possible to do 15 hours. But that's two days of driving, plus Cody's now in the wedding, so he would have to be there for the rehearsal dinner at least. So that's Friday. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming we would end up leaving on Wednesday or Thursday, um, possibly Wednesday, depending on when they would need him. And then we, you have the wedding on Saturday, Sunday. No, you have the wedding on Saturday, and then we would immediately get in the car and have to drive Sunday and Monday. Um, so if you look like if we had to leave on Wednesday and we were getting and we were driving a full day on Monday, uh, that would be taking off about four days of work versus a potential two days. Uh, if you're looking at Thursday being there, traveling Thursday, being there Friday, being there Saturday, and then getting back on Sunday. So. This is what I love to do. <laughs> I love to plan. I love to organize. Uh, and so that's why I'm already taking a look at this. But uh, we'll see what happens. Obviously, it's over a year away. So should be fun, though. And I've never been to Oregon. So that'll be a, a fun little excursion. I just got back from the gym. Yay! If you saw my Facebook and Instagram posts, you'll see that I did, it, I did a 3.8 wait, 3.68 miles in 35 minutes. Um, my goal has been 3.5 miles in 35 minutes, so I think I'm doing pretty good. He thinks I taste good right now. <laughs> I'm all sweaty. And it's like 4.15, so I have to shower soon because Cody and I are gonna go take a look at uh, wood at Lowe's because he's gonna make me a sewing desk. Yay! Also, I posted this on my Facebook, and maybe I don't have the right to talk about this, but all day I've been seeing stories about the news team in Virginia, and not only is it just incredibly heartbreaking, and it's so hard to see those news stories, and it's, I mean, I follow so many news stations, so it has just been crowding up my news feed. But um, it's really scary. I mean, I'm not a professional journalist yet, or I don't know if I'm going to be, but I have so many friends who are in that field, um, people that I look up to and uh, know very personally, uh, SAI sisters and uh, people that I worked for and who worked for me uh, at school who have gone on professionally and people who are still studying to do that. And you never expect something like that to happen to the journalist. And it's scary. It's very scary. And I just hope that everybody who is doing this professionally stay safe. Um, you know, my thoughts and prayers are going out to um, the victims and the station. Um, but especially 
to my journalism friends right now because obviously I don't know the people who it happened to personally, but I want my friends to be safe. <laughs> And that's terrifying, and especially because I want to eventually get into it. it. I guess the point is, it can happen to anybody. And that's scary. Um, but if anybody watches my videos who is one of those friends or who is in journalism, you know, stay safe. Um, praying for you. Hey, what we doing, Cody? We're looking at what lumber dimensions we have available so I can build you the sewing beds. Yay! Look at all this cool stuff. Wood. <laughs> you make me a cool desk. Hopefully. That's reassuring. Look at my handyman. <laughs> Anyways, now for top. So is this all we're here to do? Just check out wood? Uh-huh. <laughs> Nifty. And when are you gonna build this for me? <laughs> uh, Friday. Oh, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Friday into Saturday. We'll see. That's okay, the sooner you build it, the sooner I can make a little dog sweater for Bob. Because <laughs> that's what you need a sewing machine for, right? 